If someone were to come up to me on the street at any point during the day and ask me outright, what's the number one website that you hate, that you wish did not exist, and you outright wish you never even bothered making an account for? I would have to say Twitter. You know, there's a lot of things that Twitter has done or is doing now that has pissed me off. The fact that you can't even make tweets without getting nervous that you might go over the, the limit. That you posted one too many letters, otherwise you won't be allowed to tweet it at all. That you gotta delete some shit. Or... Or the simple fact that this fucking website doesn't even have an edit button. You go to other places like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, what have you. They all have edit functions. But if you want to edit a tweet because you misspelled the wrong word or something like that. Well then sorry buddy, you're just going to have to fucking delete the tweet. And do it all over again. Now granted, you can technically edit your tweets but uh... You're, you're gonna have to give Twitter your fucking money. Facebook, you want to edit a Facebook post? You can do it for free. No problem. YouTube, you want to edit a comment? You can do it for free. Instagram, same thing. You can do it for free. Twitter? Well, why don't you give uh, Mr. Uh, well, he's no longer the head, Mr. Dorsey there. Yeah. Why don't you give the nice little Pajit man some fucking money? Me, me, me then. You'll be allowed to edit your fucking tweet. <laughs> I also hate the fact that, um, someone who's privated their account can just as easily quote tweet your own tweet. Meanwhile, if you want to see what they said, you can't look at it because their tweets are protected. And I also hate the fact. And every other goddamn month, there's always a fucking purge. It seems that I cannot go four or five months on that fucking website without getting the royal boot out the door. Ever since I first started calling myself Alistair Mycroft on the internet, which was three years ago, in that short amount of time, I've went through ten, ten fucking Twitter accounts. Now, up until today, I only had nine. But, as I'm sure everyone is well aware by now, Twitter's been having themselves a, a nice little purge. New guy gets in, Jack Dorsey steps down, and already motherfuckers are going left and right. Now, granted, the account in question that was uh, unceremoniously yeeted was not actually suspended. That account's in lockdown, and I can just as easily get back into that account. It's just that the phone number I used was a burner phone number, and uh, ain't no way I'm able to get the little activation code there. So, for all intents and purposes, that account's pretty much dead. It might as well be fucking suspended. I mean, I went into lockdown for 12 hours not that long ago because they made trippy poop mad. So, I might as well get flagged down. But, new boss, new purge, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You can't fucking fight this shit. No matter what you do. You try to appeal your tweets. You, you try to appeal your timeout session. You try to appeal your suspension. You try to appeal anything. You're shit out of fucking luck. You might as well just take the jail sentence. You might as well be in lockdown for 12 hours. You might as well just accept the fact that your account's been suspended. And it's never coming back. You might as well just accept all these things. And what are you going to do? You going to move on over to places like Gab and Mines? Places that have been dead for four years? 
You're going to be one of those free speech warriors like Paul Joseph Watson and them and move on over to these alternative sites? You can certainly try, but they're fucking dead. They've had been for years. And besides, even if you move there, where's the fucking fun in that? Everyone on those goddamn sites more or less agrees with you. If I had to move over the fucking Gavin Mines like right now, I'd fucking hate it there. Because there won't be anyone to bully. There's no SJWs. There's no retards. There's no furries there. Everyone on that fucking site more or less has the similar political views than me. So that's no fun. What do you expect me to do? LARP as an SJW? I get very boring real fucking fast. <coughs> Now, if someone were to come up to me on the street on any given day and they were to ask me, well, what's one side you really can't see yourself leaving? That no matter what they do to you, you just keep coming back for more and more and more. And I'd have to say Twitter. Because, well, even though I hate the fucking place with a burning passion, where else am I going to go? I mean, Twitter's where all my friends are. All those lovable rapscallions that I've met over the years. That's where they all hang out. That's where all the low cows hang out too. Every single low cow to an extent I've found on Twitter. D that Aiden fell, that greasy idiot that likes to get dandruff all over the pizzas he cooks. Trippy book, Hitsuki Hime, The Killing Joke, Evil Dead Ed. Unapologetic belief, every single one of those goddamn retards. I found them on Twitter. And I've had a lot of fun memories on that place. Some of it good, most of it bad, but memories nonetheless. <clears throat> but, whether we want to admit it or not, this is our future now. And there's nothing really we can do. On the one hand, if we stick to big tech, they're going to keep fucking booning us every time we say something naughty, or someone throws a pie in their goddamn face and they can start fucking fuming and they have to lash out on the peons. But on the other hand, if we just say fuck this shit and we go on, on over to these alternative sites, that's gonna be no fun. Because again, those sites are fucking dead. No matter what they tell you. Mines, Gab, Getter, Parlor, that fucking honeypot. All those places, they're dead. And even if they are not dead, they're just fucking right-wing echo chambers. That's no fucking fun. What's the point of being on the same goddamn platform when everyone agrees with you? That's no fun. I want to bully people. I want to make people cry. I want to watch people have temper tantrums over my edgy tweets. How the fuck am I supposed to do that when everyone more or less agrees with me? Plus, you gotta factor in, you know, the possibility of actual unironic neo-Nazis, you know, finding out where you live, rolling on up in their pickup truck with a giant swastika flag on the back, shooting up your house or apartment with an AK-47, you know, those things. But... Yeah, slowly but surely, it's becoming more apparent that we're no longer allowed to have fun on the internet. And there's nothing really we can do. We can't get rid of Big Tech because that's where all the fun happens, and we really can't trust these alternative sites because they're fucking dead, and they're boring. And a lot of people who agree with me are on there. And I really don't want to LARP as a fucking SJW because then people are going to actually think of a goddamn SJW. And they're, they're going to find out, oh no, he's actually right wing. And then they're going to see through the fucking trolling bit. And then no one's going to fucking take me seriously as a troll. And then I'm not going to get reactions out of these retards. And then I'm going to be sad. Because who needs therapy when you can make retards have panic attacks? Just by you showing up in their fucking YouTube live chats. I know it's black-pilled as fuck. 
but it's the God's honest truth. We might as well just savor the moment. Because before, well, you know what? It's all going to be over. It's more or less coming to an end now. Jack Dorsey's gone. We got this fucking Bajit who really doesn't give a shit about the First Amendment. Who's going to do everything he can to subvert the First Amendment. You got Facebook, the lizard man, calling himself Meta now. Because reasons. <sighs> yeah, it's really sad. But. <sighs> what can you do? What can you do? Like I said, you just gotta live in the moment. Remember the good times you had, because pretty soon... The days of you having fun on the internet are over. I mean, you're already having to provide fucking email addresses and phone numbers to places like Twitter in order for you to have an account and to make sure you're not quote-unquote a robot. Which is fucking ridiculous, even though the fucking site is fucking populated by these porn bots. Before you know, you're gonna be needing to show, you know, ID, and your social security number, and your address. So, if you've been enjoying your anonymity for as long as you possibly could, say goodbye to that. Because you're going to need to dox yourself in order to make a fucking tweet. Oh, what's that little Billy? You want to like this uh, cute little cat video? Well, uh, we're going to need your social security ID. Where do you live, little Billy? I know you like those big anime titties, but uh, we're going to need your address. We're going to need a picture of your house. We're going to need a picture of your car. Just to make sure you're a real person. But again, what can you do? There are no alternatives. No matter what these people say. No matter what people like Paul Joseph Watch and Tim Pool and the rest say. The days of having fun on the internet are over. And there's nothing you can do. And you can't go to these fucking alternative sites because again, they're fucking dead. No matter what people like Paul Joseph Watch and them say. Because, spoiler alert, they don't give a shit about your free speech. They don't. If they actually give a damn about their free, your free speech, they would fucking quit YouTube. And they would fucking quit Twitter. And they would move over to these other sites. But they don't. They want your money. Because you're stupid. For listening to them. Anyway. That's enough blackpilling for today. Hopefully I can come back with something more lighthearted and funny ish but uh yeah catch you guys whatever and uh oh yeah fuck twitter